and welcome to the Wimbledon Hobby Club Ambassador Academy. My name is Rose, I'm a former Great Britain and current Wales International Goalkeeper. Today I'm going to take you through a session in groundwork. Now, um, I would recommend before we get started you grab a drink and you're also wearing a long sleeve top and maybe some tracksuit bottoms or um, some leggings because we're going to be doing a little bit of movement around on the floor. Now, before we get started, let's get on with the warm-up. So we're making sure we're just going through a squat range movement. If you're a little bit tight, you can start a little bit further apart. We're going to be doing a session of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. Okay, I'm going back into some reverse lunging, making sure that we're warming up our hips, making sure we're stretching through our hip flexors, getting a full range of mo movement, and also making sure that we're activating our glutes and our hamstrings. This one's going to be a little bit heavy on the legs today. A lateral, a lateral lunging. Okay. Shout on the side. Just make sure you're moving through these. The real stable, stable road um, motion. Push through your heels. Keep your chest high. Nice and stable, and sit back into this lateral squat. Going some Spider Man's, do a press up position, bringing your foot up, rotating up to the sky, watch your hand, and rotating to the other side. Switch to the other side, rotating up. Just making sure you do about three on each side as a minimum. Rotate. Okay, if you need a little bit more of a stretch, a bit more of an activation, pause the video, but I'm all ready to go. So we're gonna start off with, we're gonna start off with a smother position, and I'm gonna talk you through the movement as we go. But the first exercise is gonna be in the smother position, taking the ball with the middle leg, chest and head behind the line, leg out a little bit more, still bent though, still in a relaxed position. We're gonna push up through the floor, Squeeze our glutes, squeeze our core, and get our chest up the floor. Okay? Okay, starting in five, we're just going to start in our smug position, just to one side, and we're going up. Okay. Up all the way, squeeze your glutes, and you engage your core, and stand all the way up. When 20 seconds is gone, we're going to switch over to the other leg. Okay? We've done that 10 seconds already. Okay, switching in three two, one, okay, switch over to your other leg, and pushing up, okay, just nice and easy to start off with, just get yourself used to this position, five seconds left, and then we get 20 seconds rest, okay, and rest, grab a quick drink if you need to, a little stretch, but we're going to go again in 15 seconds, going to be exactly the same again this time a little bit more speed if you can get this leg out a little bit as well even better okay starting in three two one and we're back up again keep your chest up hands in front really helps this just push through your hips squeeze your glutes and your legs push through the floor as much as you can we're going to be swapping to the other side in five seconds Okay, and swap. Sit up and down. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more difficult, you can hold a weight above your head, or hold or maybe a rucksack full of books, whatever you've got at home. Five seconds left. Okay, okay, we're gonna go 20 seconds rest. Now, this is gonna start in our smother position, and we're gonna go into the switch. So that just means we're gonna on the other side, switch and up. Then from left to right, and switch and up, okay? In three seconds, ready to go? Okay, up, down, switch. Up, down, switch. Notice I'm not using my hands. If you feel like you need to just start off with, do. This is not, it don't have to be really quick. Just making sure you're doing the movement. 
it's alright if you're travelling around a little bit on your bottom, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Making sure your chest is over this front leg. Up and down, as fast as you possibly can now for this last 10 seconds. Again, obviously if you're wearing leg girls, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Three seconds left. Keep going. Okay, stop there. Get your 20 seconds rest now. Okay, we're going to be going into our shuffle now, into our shuffle position. So, I'm going to from here, we're going to put our back foot down, push through the floor, and we're going to put a plant our hand and push our um, front leg up to there. So this is the first 40 seconds, just copying me how best you can, depends how comfortable you are with this position. Okay, you do a couple, put this back leg through the floor, and we're moving this front leg around. So swift, shifting again, and we're shuffling each time across. Okay, we've got 15 seconds left of this. Now, if you've done this before, I want you to try and get as much distance as you can with that first push off. Really about driving power through so you can far you can get across. Okay, five seconds left of this one. Keep going, push, push, push. Okay, and rest. We've got two more exercises. We want to do that one again on that round just to make sure everybody's used to that. Remember, we're making sure we're driving through the floor most importantly. This back leg pushes through the floor. We're gonna make sure this front leg is always facing the ball. We're gonna start in three seconds. Okay, push through the floor, push the back leg and shuffling across. Okay, and again, and shift. keep your chest up. Make sure your eyes are up, it's really important we can still see the ball here. Keep shuffling over. This is why I said you needed some leggings or some tractor buttons. Okay, you've got 15 seconds left. Now really push yourself now as far as you can go. Now push as much as you can. Try and get off that floor there. Push this foot into the floor and really drive up and across. Three seconds left. Last one. Okay, and rest there. Now, for our fifth exercise, I'm gonna guide you. I'm gonna tell you whether I want you to go up or down. I want you to shuffle like we just did there. We want you to switch to the other side. So I'll switch to one of these, up, down. And what we just did there was a shuffle. We're ready to go. Okay, up, down, up, down. Shuffle, swivel, okay, shuffle, shuffle. Up, down, shuffle again. Okay, switch sides, switch sides. Up, down, switch. Okay, push across. Got 10 seconds left on this one. Up, down, switch. Up, down, up, down, shuffle. Up, down, switch. Okay, and stop it there. Grab a drink. We've got a little bit of a breather now. A little bit of a rest and I'll take you through what the next session is going to be. Okay, we're going to go into our next session. This is going to cover your dive and still include that shuffle that we just learned. So the long sleeved is a really good idea. If you're lucky enough to have your kit, I'm going to just put on my elbow guards and um, some gloves. Getting ready to start, I'm going to start in about five seconds or so. I'm going to start off with just in this crouch position, diving left and then getting back up that side. We'll do 20 seconds on that side, 20 seconds on the other side. So it's just going to look like this, crouch down and push out and then straight back up and out and push up and then go on the other side. Okay. Do feel free at any time to pause the video and practice some of these are more advanced skills than some of you may know. So ready to go sort out my timer ready to go in three seconds okay 20 seconds on one side 20 seconds on the other and we're going pushing out and back up again in this cramping position pushing out and back up if you're a little bit more advanced you know after you drive notice that my head is looking straight at where the ball would be and i'm also having my hands in front there okay and both hands are engaged 
because we're making sure we can then react to any high balls. And we're changing over to the left hand side now, leading with our left hand. I know a lot of you, this isn't your favorite, but you need to make sure you're practicing it all the way out. Start in this correct position, which means you can get your hip out and then collapse into the floor. Okay, but uneven on those sides, just stop there and have a rest. Got 10 seconds left. We're going to go into our next one. Okay, which is just going to be the same again. This time, maybe we'll start on our left side to make sure we get enough time on it. Don't need that anymore. Okay, and we're going. Crouching down, pushing our hip out, going into our elbow, and pushing it with our hand, and back up again. Again, if you're more advanced, I want you pushing these out as fast as you possibly can. Okay, hand, push out. Keep going, really push yourself now. Okay, we're halfway through on this one. Just start feeling a little bit, a little bit of burn in the legs. Okay, and we're switching. We've leveled it up now. Back to that favorite right side and pushing out. Back up and pushing out. It's okay if you just use whatever you need to get back up again. Tomorrow we're making the position. And stop there and rest. 20 seconds rest now. Okay, now we're gonna combine that dive into a shuffle position. So, 10 seconds. We're gonna start, just gonna do the right hand side to start off with. Diving out, so we're pushing through into our shuffle. That's it. Okay, ready to go. Stay with me on this, push it out and shuffle. Reach your head, chest, faces that front way. And then come back to the start. Down, out on the dive, push with the back leg, shuffle and face the play. Keep going as fast as you can now, guys. As much as you possibly can. You've got 20 seconds left, you're halfway. Keeping down, pushing out, and we shuffle. And back to the start. And again, 10 seconds to go. You're doing really well. You'll be really feeling it now. I know this is really tough. Three seconds, so your last one. And push. Excellent, well done, guys. Now I'm gonna go on to the other side. So that left hand. If it's not comfortable, take your time. It's not a problem. 10 seconds left. Got five seconds now. Grab a quick bottle of water if you really need to. We're gonna go straight into it. And down and left. We're going. Push that left leg out. Good. And then back up. Down. Push. And left leg. And then back up. Okay, good. Push. Engage both of those hands. Get that leg in front of you. And keep going. You're halfway as much as you possibly can now. Really push it. Go a little bit slower so we can talk you through it. And so I'm not actually out of breath. 10 seconds. Here you go. Five seconds. Get your last one in. Last one in. Really push out. Okay, stop there and rest. Grab a quick drink. Okay, we're on our last one of the five now. It's our double shuffle now. 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. Let's get down, let's build a dive and a shuffle so we can start. Down, down, shuffle. Then I want you to shuffle again. So double up those shuffles. Then down, just alternate them to the left side. Shuffle, shuffle. So there, up we go. So now we can alternate sides each time. We're going down, pushing out, shuffle here, and then planting the foot again and pushing through with the right hand and shuffle. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep going as fast as you possibly can. Diving on the left, push through there. Get the leg guard in the way. Then again, we're going to push through the back foot and we're going to shuffle towards it. Notice my weight's forward, my head's forward. Okay, stop there. Bit of a longer rest now. Well done, guys. I know that one was quite hard. Have a little bit of a breather. Grab a bottle of water. Do be careful You're not wearing holes in all your kits. Maybe wear something a little bit older so you don't ruin it. Okay, last one we're going into. 
Right, 20, 30 seconds rest now. Last one I'm gonna go into is a dive and a swivel. So again, we're just building where we were before. If you're not comfortable, then recycle the other one again and then and pause that and join when you can. So we're gonna go into the first one is just the swivel. Now, I'm gonna show you here. From here, we're gonna push and swivel over to the other side. That's the first one and we're ready to start in five seconds. I'll talk you through the next one as we go. So this is a swivel. So we're gonna start on one side. Oh, it's been an issue with my timer. So I'm just gonna start that up. Sorry, five seconds. Okay, on our side, we're pushing and we're swiveling around to the other side. Push to the top, push through the sides and then we're swiveling over to the other side. Each time, we can show our hands and our head are forward like this. Keep going as fast as you possibly can. Keep that weight forward. This way there's a dive to the right and we've swiveled over to the other side. Now it's a dive to the left. Keep going, you're halfway through now. Push as much as you can and really pivot. Swiveling round. Oh, what I don't want to see is you're leaning back all the way here. Keep that weight forward. You've got 10 seconds to go. Really push as much as you can now. Swivel, push through and swivel as fast as you possibly can in between. So from here, push, swivel. There we go, time. Well done, really good. Okay, so this is where we combine the dive with our swivel. So, exact same diving position we had on the first time before. 10 seconds to go. So we're just gonna incorporate the two. Do it from here into a dive. We're gonna swivel round. Ready, steady, go. Dive here, push, swivel. There we go, up we get. Down, go up, push, swivel. There, good, up we get. Dive up, push, swivel. Good, keep going, you're halfway now. Try and get another three in as possibly you can. Really push through there. So you're diving across, stretch out, push and get that swivel in. 15 seconds, keep pushing yourselves. When we do need to get a little bit of rest in a second. Keep going. Five seconds, keep going, come on. Dive, push and swivel. Okay, good. Rest there. You bet yourself 20 seconds. I know this is quite tough, but this is our last round of exercises and then we're all done. So really getting that dive and the swivel in together. Okay, we're gonna do that again, just to make sure we're doing both sides. So we're gonna start on this left. So we're now timer, it's gone, let's go. Dive left, push, swivel forward there, and up you get. Down, dive left, push, swivel there, straight away. Keep going, we've got 20 seconds left. Keep going. Especially when you're doing that dive, pushing through that swivel, making sure we're still using our back leg to drive through the floor to help us up. 10 seconds left. We do less, get, make sure we get one more in. Down, dive, push, swivel across. I reckon five seconds, you've got another one in you. Down, left dive, push, swivel, and time. 20 seconds rest. Okay, we've got two more exercises and that's it, we're done. Take a deep breath. Make sure we're ready for the next one. 10 seconds. This one is gonna be a dive, a swivel, and a shuffle. Bringing everything together that we've learned. If you're not comfortable, just do the double swivel and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we're going. Down, dive, swivel, shuffle. And up we get. Down, dive, swivel, and shuffle. Okay, keep going there if you can. Keep pushing yourselves. If you think that might be a little bit too much for you, 20 seconds left. Go down, into this dive, go into a swivel, then push up and go into another swivel. So you can use keeping that movement going. We've got 10 seconds left. Keep going on that one side. We're gonna do the other one in a minute. Five seconds left. Get the last one in, down. Dive, swivel, shuffle. Oh, triple thread, straight there. Okay, that's the timer. 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna go into our last one. Okay. 10 seconds left, and you guessed it, going diving left, swiveling and shuffling over. Three seconds. Now as much as you possibly can, down, diving left, swiveling round, shuffling to the other side. If you start on the other side, that's absolutely fine. Do your dive right now. 30 seconds left. It's all that's left of the session, so give it everything you've got. Down, push across. 
Push through the floor and swivel. Get across and shuffle. Excellent work there. Keep going. Last 15 seconds, I reckon we can get at least two in here. Push, swivel, and across there. Good. And up. Okay, down we go. Push, swivel, and across. Okay, five seconds, we can do one more. One more, I know. Come on, push, swivel, and across. Okay, time. We can leave it there. Have a big breather. I'm sure your glutes, your hips, your hip flexors a little bit sore now, but well done. It's not an easy session, Matt. Like I said, just take your time, go through the movements best you possibly can. If you're finding that a little bit easy and you think you can push yourself a little bit more, put on some kit, whether that's just your kickers and your leg guards to start off with, so you've got an obstruction in the way when you're trying to sit up and then maybe graduate to things like your helmet and your leg guard, sorry, your helmet and your um, chest guard, to, and then add to that extra bit of discomfort. And then, and then I'm really gonna have to engage the core on those ones. But like I said, if you're a beginner or these are relatively new to you, and you wanna make sure you're comfortable on both left and right sides, I recommend doing it out of kit. But as you can see, I'm a little bit out of breath myself. But I hope you enjoyed that session. And hopefully we'll be able to see you soon with a few more. Bye guys.